Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll have a session on ORM, Object Relational Mapping, and its features. Let's start the session with what is ORM and the definition for ORM. So, so ORM is nothing but it's an object relational mapping. ORM stands for object relational mapping. So, what we'll be doing exactly in ORM? What uh, in background ORM does? So ORM what it does is it maps the Java object with table and properties with columns and object data with row data. So what uh, ORM does is it uh, ma instead of mapping manually the Java object with data database tables how we do in JDBC. So ORM does that instead of and developer doing instead of what developer does in JDBC ORM does. So what ORM does? It maps Java object with database tables and uh, properties in uh, Java object with database columns or table columns and uh, properties or data in uh, object data. So each row in database table is nothing but it's an object data. So this is what an ORM is. So what are the ORM features and uh, why ORM is so popular? So first is productivity. So ORM significantly reduces the development time. So ORM reduces the development time. Suppose if we take JDBC, we need to manually write uh, this mapping from result set to Java object and Java object to result set. And we need to write all those SQL queries manually. So whenever we are writing a code for save, what we need to do is we need to write a lot of code. Suppose if we want to save two columns uh, data into the database what we need to do is we need to explicitly write the code in such a way we need to map it manually to the database columns and save to the database so coming to the ORM with the help of simple save method in hibernate if we take hibernate we have a simple save method which will save the object to the database so how many columns we need to uh, populate in the database those many columns we can do so what ORM does is it significantly reduces the development time. It takes care of mapping Java object with the relational database. It takes care of mapping Java object with the relational database. And second one is maintainability. ORM more, more concentrates on business logic rather than unnecessary plumbing of code. So it mainly concentrates on the business logic. ORM mainly concentrates on the business logic instead of writing all unnecessary and duplicate code and bulky code what it does is it concentrates more on business logic in ORM framework it is easy to maintain when there are updations and inserts so the it is very easy to maintain Java code uh, instead of uh, the SQL code writing in uh, instead of writing SQL queries in the Java code what we'll be doing is it's simple and easy to maintain this Java code in ORM and the third one is vendor independent ORM frameworks are vendor independent if we take JDBC it is database dependent okay whatever the queries we are writing in the Java code those are directly dependent on the database we are using suppose if we take ORM framework ORM frameworks are vendor independent it abstracts the SQL queries it supports different databases so whatever the queries uh, that are generated using uh, ORM framework or database independent ORM supports different databases so ORM generates the SQL queries in such a way whatever the database uh, we are using it will convert the uh, queries into the particular database so that is one of the main feature of the ORM so these are the important features of ORM productivity maintainability and vendor independent so once again I'll uh, explain you what is ORM its ORM is nothing but object relational mapping it is a process of mapping Java class with the database table and uh, properties in Java object with columns in database table and uh, object data with row data hope you guys understand what is ORM and what are the features of ORM thanks for watching video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos